Hey everyone, this is Jay Keeps here in the 710 Studios. Happy New Year. Excited to be going into the playoffs. And one guy that I wanted to highlight who has had a fantastic year, who I believe around the NFL has not gotten the credit that he deserves, is Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett this year has been phenomenal from his deep pass game to contested catches, intermediate routes, and again, being sure-handed. Ty Lockett is a big playmaker who has stepped up huge for this team this year. Uh, it's been so fun to watch. And what I want to break down for you guys is the number of ways that Tyler has been used and how he's been effective this season. So the first game, the first play I want to show you is actually this last game versus the Arizona Cardinals, the two-minute drive to set up the winning uh, field goal uh, to end the game. Uh, situation here, it's tied 24-24, fourth quarter with a minute 13 left to go. Uh, need a big play here to get us into plus territory to give us a chance to kick that winning field goal. Well, well, on this play, we were able to do just that. So the play call here is we're going to be in a seven-man protection. So we are going to be sliding for the Will linebacker here. We're going to have the tight end, Ed Dixon, in protection. Uh, Mike Davis is going to check protection and then leak out in the flat. Then you're going to have David Moore on a dig route. And then Tyler Lockett on a post and Doug Baldwin on a corner route or flood route, sail route. There's a bunch of different ways to call that depending on what offense you're in. Um, but you are kind of got a scissors concept going on essentially. Now, what happened on this play is really cool uh, because it's displayed Tyler Lockett's ability to read the coverage, see the coverage, and go to open space. And then for Russell Wilson to be on the same page with him to be able to complete the pass for a big game. Uh, it, their chemistry has been great all season long, and it's just this is the culmination of all of the work that they've done in the offseason, uh, in practice, and also in the game. The trust that they have with one another is pretty fun. So what happens here is uh, you get Buda Baker, who was the nickel defender, is coming in and bringing pressure. He does a great job getting Russell outside of the pocket. He beats Ed Dixon inside, but Russell is able to escape and evade and get outside the pocket. Now, what's really cool about this play is, like I said, it, this pl play design was a post with a corner or a sail route. Now, Tyler sees that there is a safety in the middle of the field. He knows that with this post route, he's going to run into uh, a, a defender and get covered. But what he also notices is that Arizona is screwed up in their coverage. There is supposed to be a defender deep here, and someone busts. So what ends up happening is, is Tyler Lockett not only recognizes the middle field safety, but he also recognizes that no one is taking their deep third responsibility in cover three. So instead of breaking to the post, Tyler now takes this as a go, completely off script, completely <laughs> uh, what the coach would not want. Brian Schottenheimer is probably wondering, what is he doing? But Russell Wilson sees the same thing, gets on the same page with Tyler, and now... The best part about it is as the completion is happening, Russell not only recognizes it, throws it to him, but also throws him open, meaning that instead of leading him here into this safety, he throws a protective throw to the sideline, giving Tyler the ability to turn his body, protect the ball, and also get out of bounds. So between the two of them, fantastic play in a crucial situation that ultimately led to the game winning field goal. Awesome stuff. And we're not done there. The next play I want to show you is versus Kansas City. Uh, Tyler has been phenomenal at these deep crossing routes, getting open, taking the middle of the field, um, and, and has really been a game wrecker in this situation, one where any DB lining up against Tyler is afraid of him when running this route. So they line up in a condensed formation here. Uh, they get a nice play action uh, pass going, and the route concept that you're going to see is you're going to see Tyler take it in, stem up and what you're what they're thinking is it's your basic deep crossing pattern where Tyler is just going to simply take the middle of the field and you're going to have David Moore who's running a deep cross and you're basically setting up the deep cross so either the safety has to take the deep uh, the the 
deep go route by Tyler, or he's going to jump on the deep cross by David Moore. Now, what ends up happening here is you actually have David Moore running the deep crossing route, and you have Tyler actually running a deep over route here. He's running a deep cross himself. So as the play develops, go to the next clip, Tyler puts himself in a position where the safety and the corner don't know what's happening. He is stemmed in, and when I mean stemmed in, he's stemmed in this way, then taking it vertical. So now he can take it vertical, he can break to the sideline, or he can break across the field. And, and so what happens here is this play is breaking tendency. Normally it's here and here. Now Tyler, now we're getting this and this where Tyler is able to run to this open space here and use his speed. Russell sees the play develop, sees the ability of Tyler to be able to run to this space, and you're able to get a nice, easy pitch and catch completion. Again, because Tyler was able to set this play up so beautifully at the top of his route and break it off. I mean, look at the separation that he has from this defensive back and the safety. No one is, any, is, is near him because of the way he sold that route. Next play. San Francisco, you get him in one-on-one -on -one situations. Man-to-man, uh, -man, Tyler is such a mismatch because of his speed, because of his uh, feel for route running. What they do is they get him in motion, okay, and they send him back to the slot. So they know that they've got man-to-man -man because uh, 38 here is following Tyler. We go to the final pre-snap picture here. Final pre-snap picture, you've got him one-on-one, -on -one, press man coverage. The route that they are going to run is they are going to run a little hitch and go. So they're going to Tyler's going to set this up. He's going to get a little hesitation move, get the DB to sit and drive and then burst uh, at, uh, vertically on an inside fade route. Now Russell and Tyler have been fantastic all year completing these deep ball throws. They have great chemistry with each other. Russell puts on a great throw in stride uh, to get a really nice chunk play on the first drive of the game. Again, setting him up uh, in, in formation, in motion, then hesitation with the hitch and go. And again, the DB cannot recover because of Tyler's speed. Next play, Green Bay. Now, this, w this came in a critical point in the game. This was actually a fourth-quarter game-winning drive here. Uh, again, variation in their play-action game. You're going to have play-action. You're going to have Tyler stem in, stem up. And, again, it's he puts himself in a position where you don't know if he's going to continue to go vertical, if he's going to break back to the, to the sideline, or if he's going to go across the field. Um, and on the other side of it, you would anticipate the deep crosser. Well, instead of that, they're going to have Doug stem in, come in for a couple steps, and then break to the sideline. So this is a nice little change-up in play design. Uh, and again, this is all set up by the, the natural plays that they've been running, the run game, and then Tyler Lockett in his incredible route running to be able to turn the defenders and not give away what he's doing. So post-snap. He gets vertical, and as you can see here, the safety is fully bought in to the fact that he is gonna, Tyler is going to continue to run this vertically. Well, the, the safety guessed wrong. Doug sticks his foot in the ground. He drives to the sideline, and then Tyler also sticks his foot in the ground and takes this vertically. He absolutely turns the safety, Tremont Williams, all the way around and, and putting him in a position where he cannot make a play on the ball. Tyler runs to space. Russell sees him, gives a nice, deep, accurate throw. And my favorite part about this is Tyler's ability to make great finishes. He gets his hand on the football. He catches it even when it's contested. Now, last play. Now, this is just simple play design and Tyler Lockett's speed. You have bunch formation here. It's going to be all goes with a dig on the backside by Doug and a swing route here by Carson. And Tyler is going to take... He's going to be the number three receiver in all vertical pass game. So you have Ed Dixon taking the wide go, and Nick Vanette is going to take the seam and become the number two receiver. All right, Because it's cover three, 
Either the corner has to go with him, or the safety has to go with him, excuse me. The corner has to take that deep third, or this will linebacker does. And with San Francisco's coverage, and the way they are, is the corner is going to drive on this dig route by Doug, and the safety here has to play over here because you've got three verticals coming right at him. So he's going to favor this side of the field, which leaves so much space over here and putting this Will linebacker in a complete mismatch on Tyler Lockett. So by play design, we have gotten ourselves into a favorable matchup. Now, of course, Tyler Lockett on a linebacker is going to be a mismatch any time, any day of the week, uh, and, and should be an easy completion. Now, the subtle thing that Tyler did on this play was absolutely incredible. The ball was slightly underthrown, and as you can see here, the linebacker actually is in pretty good position to make a play on the ball. Well, instead of Tyler continue to run full speed and then have to jump and make a play on the ball with, with the defender in his face, what Tyler does is he actually starts to slow himself down, which gets the linebacker to slow down just a hair. And then at the very end, when the ball is about to come on him, Tyler then he slows down, the ball's about to come on him, then he bursts just a little bit to catch that ball in stride and get this nice little separation you see here away from the linebacker to get a nice easy walk-in touchdown. It's the little subtle things to Tyler Lockett's game that just stand out to me above anything else. Yes, he's speed, he's got fantastic route running ability, uh, and, and, is a, and is a ginormous play, playmaker. But I love Tyler's ability to do the little details, the things that separate him, and the reason why he was perfect on the season.